Okay, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how Maya fluid container emitter follow the motion path or car path and it don't work outside the 3D container just like this one. If you move the car outside the container, now click play and see, see, it don't work outside the 3D container. So let's get started. Take a new scene, change animation menu to modeling menu, take a polygon cylinder, rotate the cylinder 90 degree along Z axis, type cylinder height 20, subdivision height type 50, go to deform, non-linear, click wave, amplitude type here 0.2, Wavelength type here 0.4 minus 0.2. Now select the polygon cylinder, go to edit, delete by type, delete history, open modeling toolkit, edge selection modes, double click on this edge. Go to modify, convert, polygon edge to curve. Now go to object mode, select the polygon cylinder and delete, select the curve. Now change modeling menu to FX menu, go to fluid, open 3D container option, edit, reset the setting, type X size 35 or 30, Z size type 15, click apply and close, move the container up just here, now select the emitter, shift select the curve, change FX menu to animation menu, go to constraint, motion path, click attach to motion path, now go to frame 1, click play and see the effect. Open attribute editor, select the fluid shape 1, content method, temperature make it dynamic grid, base resolution, make it 50, Select the emitter, rate particle per second, make it 500. Again, go to frame 1, click play and see the effect. Again, select the fluid shape 1, go to shading, change this color to this one, and this color to this one. Now go to frame 1, click play and see the effect. See? But if you move the curve outside of your container, again go to frame 1, click play and see. The emitter don't work outside of your container, 3D container, see, again move the curve here, go to frame 1, click play and see the effect, you can also move the curve down, click play and see the effect, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel.